welcome back to Mosey and with the Maleys. We are here at the Bean Pot Campground. Just outside Crossville, Tennessee. Get you a little, get you a little shot of uh, Highway 101, about a quarter mile, mile down that way. Pull in here, take a nice little left. Address here I think is 23 Bean Pot campground loop Crossville Tennessee nice easy couple feet in from the entrance here make your stop that is the office they do have some supplies inside ice cream a couple things to drink uh, a couple supplies for your RV if need be they do have a little barn underneath I think they have some uh, stuff up on top is living quarters and up on top of the actual office is also living quarters so at any time during the night you can ring the the bell and they'll come get you they do have a pool right now it's closed down they do have a little playground out back of the office pretty good sized yard here we are inside the laundry facility they do have TV rent some books CDs honor system bring them back when you're done laundry room do have showers pretty decent rep restroom bathhouse area clean they do have propane fill so you can get your tanks filled up and just down a little bit here from the office they also have a dump station here's their dump station and their activities building which they pretty much have it closed right now because of what's going on all of their streets here are named after beans There's our site right there. I will get to that in a second. And the owner's residence, one of three. All right, we're back up at the front. Office taking a quick right. And here's gonna be some of the tent. Small RV travel trailers are gonna get into here with a couple cabins. Uh, another little bunkhouse. Some smaller RVs will come down here. Most of these sites are pull through. And they're tight. So there's about 60 spots. 10 of them basically per row. Uh, here's some of the, the smaller, smaller RV sites that you're going to get. Looking back up, spot 50 through 60, which we're looking at now, is pretty much like super small RVs or tent areas. They do have some power here. Now once you get into the main section of this campground, they will be increasing size a little bit to, uh, I mean, we have a 40 plus footer and there's uh, room for us. It is tight, there are trees, but we were able to do it. And here on the end is a little dog run. They do have set up for some picnic areas where they don't allow dogs. All right, just walking up one of the roads here, you can kind of see spot 26, spot 25. Uh, they're empty right now. We're also in the middle of the week. They will fill up here. Most of these will all have sewer, except for that first row that I showed you. Everything else has sewer around here. Um, they all have 30 amp, and there is a portion that do have 50 amp. We'll have to be careful. Some of these spots are a little tight where people's awning sticks out. 
for the most part. There's our site. Had to kind of get in there with a little tree. We'll probably have to back out even though it's a pull through. But we are 50 amp. Power has been excellent. No problem on that. 50 amp sewer. Everything is graveled lots around here. They keep it up as good as they can. They take pride in it. All right, so here we are at the end. They do have uh, nature trails. You kind of go down this back portion, you get back in there. There's some nature trails. They have grass volleyball court. Yeah, horseshoe. You know, they tried to do, do you pretty good here. Everybody's really friendly, even the owners, uh, the guy working, um, you know, keeping this place spiffed up cool guy they all like to talk to you they're all friendly there is about 10 people that live here annually out of basically 50 spots um, if they do get construction you know going in here uh, it may jump up to you know 15 but they're pretty much stuck on a meter and you come in at where we are right there you're gonna get 50 amp kind of see where we got in between the trees they have cut quite a bit of trees but like I said it's all pretty tight but we got in with the triple axle there's some big doubles around here you guys shouldn't have a problem just don't come in at night you will not have a problem other than that I would definitely suggest you guys come in here if you get a chance we are two miles north of I-40 and about a quarter mile off the highway 101 definitely worth checking out they've made our stay here very nice all right get your final shot here of the activity center fire pit and picnic table there you go guys hopefully you enjoyed it go ahead and subscribe down at the bottom if you would or share this with another RVer that may be interested in coming here Bean Pont Campground outside of Crossville, Tennessee. Till next time, guys. Throw the bones.